Hey guys! My part of the presentation is going to tell you a bit more about the types of microbes used in making blue cheese and the starting material. Blue cheese is typically made from the milk of a cow and is cultured with penicillium to give it that strong, salty flavor. And if you remember Sarah's presentation from last time, the name Penicillium rocaforte should ring a bell. That's the microbe responsible for the bold taste and for the blue-green hue of the cheese. In fact, depending on the place of origin, blue cheeses can bear names like Roquefort, Gorgonzola, or Blue Stilton. To begin the process, penicillium can either be added to the warmed milk fat as a starter culture, or the cheesemakers can wait about 24 hours until the milk has curdled. They can then drain the whey off of the curds, and the cooling and salting process can then begin. Penicillium can also be added at this point, but there's a big difference in the cheeses produced depending on the time that the penicillium is added and the type of milk that's used. That's all from me. Sarah and Travis will tell you a little bit more about how it's made and the conditions. Thanks!